Yeah, my people, Imo State has fallen. Unfortunately, has fallen in the hands of our very oppressors. Those I consider the stooges of the caliphate. You know, some weeks ago, some if you look back in some of the videos I made previously and some of my posts, I said that um, what happened in Bayelsa State when they made the review and um, reaffirm the governor degree as a uh, degree or whatever they call him as the substantive uh, governor of um, or governor elect of uh, Imosta and remove the Leon. Eh? When they made that, I said, <laughs> these people, I'm looking at the motive behind whatever thing they are doing, they are playing there, the politics they are playing there. Because what you call Supreme Court of Justice in Nigeria is actually Supreme Court of Injustice. No matter how you put it, that is the truth. You see, what APC is trying to do is to make sure they have a hold on all the geopolitical zones. They have a strong grip on the north, west, north, east, north, central, southwest, and south, south. So they already have their, their catchment areas. They already have their stationed area where they will reach out to push for their major campaign hmm? you know the campaign i know make, make you no talk saying i'm you talking we all know about islamization in nigeria eh? nobody made they carry them out so in those states south south have you know apc have taken that area so they want to make sure they have a a, 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 a stage from where they will operate from in the southeast there is nothing more to add to this or to remove from it that is what happened in Imo state and that is what you got as a verdict from the Supreme Court of Injustice yesterday, sustaining that charade they made on 14th of February. What the Supreme Court has done today is to murder democracy. What they have now done is to give judicial backing to illegality, judicial backing to fraud. Somebody gathered fake results and package the Gara must go. And brought to you, he said it was 388. In his in his Evidence made at the tribunal. The, he turned out 366. You computed it and gave him all the scores. Where was my own score? I was a candidate in that election. I was a candidate of the Reform and Advancement Party. Where was my own score? Hope allocated all the figures to himself. And the Supreme Court accepted it and said that is democracy. What the Supreme Court has done is to give judicial pronouncement to criminality, to electoral fraud. We don't no longer go to election, primary election. From primary election, first of all, go and hijack Gulag. If you hijack Gulag, you give him dollar. Gulag will write, a, will write primary result for you from a hotel room in Abuja. That was what Hope did. With that fake Gulag result, now he has become a Supreme Court imposed governor of Imo State, based on electoral fraud and criminality. I am ashamed on their behalf. I don't care. It's not my business. It's not be their fault at all. I no blame the caliphate. I no blame the Fulani people. So make no call them. They no have a hand in this. Hmm? Directly. The people were directly having a hand in this, eh? Now my people. I'm not even talking about the one Nigerian politicians. No. I'm talking about my own people that are the victims of this system. They, we have indulged these people to continue their impunity and crime against us. Um, you know why I'm making this video? I'm not making this video to lament because this is no time to lament. I'm not making this video to cry, foul, hey, this. No, 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 no. This is no time to do all that. Because this platform, we have remained consistent on our campaign for good governance in Igbo land, good governance in Biafran land, as a whole which cannot come if we have the kind of politicians we have today manning our affairs politicians that lack ideology politicians that the ideology that is driving them is the ideology of form for the ideology of personal interest men without honor these are the kind of people we have allowed to take decisions, to man sensitive positions in Igbo land. 
And that is where I keep telling our people, stop blaming the Fulanese and accusing them of trying to force down our throats. Their agenda. They call it Islamic agenda. What is your own agenda? If you have one, how are you executing it? You think it is by willing on the social media or by crying foul on the media? No. We must get down and do the needful. The needful is a political revolution driven by the Biafran ideology. And that is why I've kept on talking about the politics of Biafra. It is quite very large difference between the two. I mean, the politics of Biafra and the Nigerian politics. It is time our people will start playing the politics of Biafra. The politics of Biafra that is found on the foundation of truth, equity, and justice. That is driven with innovation. These are our advocacy on this platform. And many times I have been accused. I have been labeled all manner of things. I have been even threatened by my own people. Cajoled by my own people for advocating for good governance in Igbo land. Advocating that only diehard Biafrans, in the Biafran are run through their bloods to take charge of Igbo land, to take charge of our Biafran land. That is the only crime I have committed. And some people will say, do not vote. And some people will tell you, in the PVC, how far? <sighs> It is good. If it is not a blue gun, it is not a blue gun. And if it is not a blue gun, it is not a blue gun. As they say it. At least we have learned our lessons the hard way. Imo State has fallen. Just like as we are still lamenting about the Bonnie State, Imo State has fallen in line. First, it was Iberiberis in chapter 1 under Okorocha, who stood on the platform of Ndibu, Apuga, to run election before Imari Fenaga or Obanye. The camp of our very oppressors. Yes, it is the hard truth. APC till tomorrow is the politics of the West and the North against the Southeast. Take it or leave it. There is no two ways about it. It did not start today. If you don't know, let me remind you. Action group. Oh, I will over. They played the politics of the West. Northern People's Congress. They played the politics of the North. But our own NCNC, uh, uh, Zeke, was busy playing the politics of Nigeria. And that is where we are today. These two people have teamed up under what they call APC today and kept playing their own politics. And we kept crying foul. Look at our governors. Even under the one they call... Oh, let me not just go so that you don't think that this is is about politics of Nigeria. Now, let me go down to the real thing. Now that we have come on the same page, because I read from the post made by Uche Mefo, my, my brother, and then Nam Dekanos Camp, who have been at the front burner of discrediting the campaign for politics of Biafra in Biafra land. The political revolution that will deliver our freedom. And they kept asking me, you cannot be a governor in Biafran land and be a Biafran and do the politics of Biafra and take and take decision, political decisions that will precipitate or that will lead our people to their promised land. We are already in our promised land. We are already in Ibo land. We are already in Biafra land. What is lacking are men of honor to man our government affairs. Look at our institutions are falling apart. They are jumping from one political party to the other. Political prostitutes. Look at the charade and disgrace that we had in Imo State. I am so ashamed of these people. This political class from Imo State are the worst of their kind in Imo Land. Some of them, what will what will make you jump boat from PDP immediately to I am not an advocate of PDP to hell with them. But it's for you to understand the kind of men you have allowed to man your political offices. The worst of us. But it is time we make a reverse. It is good that we are now on the same page because I had my brother broadcasted on his platform. 
now they say that the irreducible minimum that we can allow in Imo, Imo state is is a re-election, a rerun of election in Imo state. This is what I call medicine after death. But there is time. You remember when we were discussing this in Kuja prison? You remember what I told you? You know why I'm saying this here? Because I have tried to reach you privately. But you've made yourself unreachable to me. And like you told me personally, that you always be the first to watch these videos. So that's why I'm telling you, my brother, with due respect I have for you, the love I have for you, it is time for us to do this again. That thing we discussed, I'm not going to say it here. Nam, do you know what we discussed? You know the strategy we had. It is time for us to unleash it and take over our land from these men before it is too late. That is why I am making this video. I told him you quote too much. I don't want to reveal too much. But until the right people man our offices, man our government in Ibo land, eh, the worst is yet to come. Imo state has fallen. Many of these never do wells of politicians have jumped the boat and joined the camp of our enemies. You know why I'm hitting hard on Imo state? Don't get it twisted, Imo people. You are my very beloved people. You don't know how you are close to me. I love Imo people. so so forward. My two mentors that are driving what I'm doing today, eh? They are called Imo people. They are called Imo lights. So I love you guys so much. But I must tell you the hard truth. You have allowed the worst of your kind to pilot the affairs of Imo State. And by extension, Imo Land in general. And that is why we must have a reverse because this is no time to lament. This is time to hit it hard and hit the gear to salvage our future. And Ambra State is warming up. There is time for us. We need to identify we're already on the process, but I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I say, oh, so, so, go on, I didn't consult anybody. You didn't do this. You didn't carry other person along. That is why I'm trying to call on every Biafran activist. Man, Nam, Dekano, and Radio Biafra, and this IPOB, uh, 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 and his Masob, Ma Mobin, and uh, Barista Meke Meke Sere, the rest of the whole Biafran agitators. It is time we shield our differences and this ego trip and focus on the real thing to grab power. To grab power. Don't tell me how we're going to do it because I'm not going to say it here. We have a template already. I want every one of us to come on board. But this boat is not waiting for anybody. With or without you, we are going ahead with this political revolution because we have no other option. Because there is no time to check time. Our people, you have to join the political revolution. Revolution is in the air. Nigerians who are victims of impunity in government by corrupt political class are fed up. They want their lives back. They want the security of their lives and properties. They want to put an end to medical trips abroad by political class and their families. They are fed up with collapsed health care service of Nigerian hospitals. They are fed up with collapsed education system of Nigerian schools. They are fed up with joblessness of youths who are being pushed to the extreme to survive. The Biafrans, the Oduduwas, the Arawas, and all the ethnic nationalities in Nigeria are fed up with the very state called Nigeria. It is time for a political revolution that will bring the real freedom to all Nigerian people. Join the train now. Join B. The post restoration movement is not just a group, it's not just um, a, a, a movement, it is a revolution in motion. You have to be part of it because it is the people that will drive it, not me. Because tomorrow you may not see me anymore, but the ideology will continue. Nobody can kill it. Until we get it right, there will be no hope for us. Our children 
we spit on our graves. Mark my word today, until we take over our land from the stooges of our oppressors, we will continue blabbing, we will continue crying, we will continue wailing on the social media. Let us hit the ground running and take over our land. Anambra State is about to run, to go for another run. We are already at work. Join me on PRN where we'll be talking about strictly on the political movement to get our homeland secured. We can no longer allow this crop of never do wells to be in power, to smell any political office in Igbo land anymore. We have men of integrity. Men who are boiling in their heart. It doesn't take Abuja for us to fix Igbo land. It doesn't take restructuring to fix Igbo land. We can do it only if we have the right people in power. I'm still coming. Can you see Abia? Una moro can see this time. It is high time we all get our ass together and do the needful. And that is why I'm signing out here. Because now we will be the people. Now we'll be government. We, now we, now we, now we be government. Keep watching, keep liking, keep sharing. I'll be bringing out content on our political movement because it is high time we go down on it. Join me on PRN group page on Facebook. Join me on BVI channel one every day. That's why you need to subscribe to this channel and be part of it anytime we are live talking about this and mobilizing because we're already mobilizing we're already setting the structures in place political structures in place to hijack the system it's not something i'm going to be blowing up here it's something that will be classified and only those who are on, on board will be part of it i don't care if most will come in you are welcome but i tell you you can't crack our resolve we are heading somewhere. So keep subscribing, keep liking, keep sharing. And together, we will make a difference. Goodbye and stay blessed.